Amanda Nunez, she's defending her title against uh, another fellow Aussie, Megan Anderson, UFC 256. Yep. What is your breakdown of that fight? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Megan's talent and athleticism is undeniable. Like, that's a fact. She's shown that time and time again that she can fight, you know? I don't... I don't feel like she's had that great fight in the UFC yet. You know, like she, her fight with, with Holly Holm was very one-sided. Her fight with Felicia Spencer was one-sided, you know, and then the Cats and Ghana win is whatever, so controversial. And then I don't even know who that other girl that she fight for was, you know, so I don't feel like she's had her great performance. So I can't really say how it's going to go. I think out of everyone that Amanda has fought so far, Megan stands the best chance based on power, size, athleticism. And, like, she's at a fucking great camp as well. J- James Krause is one of the great coaches of our time, like one of one of the best fighters to turn coach, you know. So um, I think she's in with a real shot for sure. In saying that, Amanda seems to consistently have gotten – gotten better as she became the champ she is a i feel like she is a much better athlete now as a champion than she was getting there it's like she won the belt and then instantly started working on everything that she had been lacking before that so every time we've seen amanda she's come in a completely different animal like she's coming with a different game plan she's coming with different intention and she's coming with a different skill set almost every single time so I don't know which Amanda she's going to get. I, I feel like Amanda's probably going to go the same route as Holly Ho, but obviously Amanda's a much, much better grappler than Holly is as well. So I just – I know James Kraus is very good at, at, at doing breakdowns and game plans and stuff like that. So I have no doubt that that's what they're thinking as well and that that's what they're going to be working on. At this moment, do you feel Amanda is the greatest female mixed martial artist of all time? No. What about Megumi Fuji? Like, okay. Megumi Fuji has always been, right? Like, she retired, what, 22-0, and 0, mm-hmm. multiple submission wins. Like, she is she is the greatest female. <laughs> Amanda has done amazing, amazing, amazing things, you know? But, yeah, no. I can't. No, no one's ever going to beat Megumi. Like, that's it. No one's ever going to beat Megumi. You think a lot of people have recency bias, right? They only see have what what's on recency bias. Like they only remember yeah. what happened like the last few years. Yeah, I mean Amanda's been around a fucking long time yeah. as well. Like she has legitimately fought everybody. But it's like, how do you how do you establish who's the greatest of all time? Is it Khabib? Khabib's under Khabib's undefeated. Like does he count as the greatest of all time, or is it someone like GSP who went through losses and then worked his way back up and won titles again? Like, how do you establish who's the greatest? Yeah, it, it's you can you know it's just opinion. No, you can't. Yeah, that's it's why all, I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm interested. She's no, a, she's uh, a very close second. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Hey guys, Sasha Platnikoff here, letting you know to tune in to SCMP Post Fight for all your weekly martial arts news.